Hello, my name is David Melendez. I'm with Vestide Support, and today I'm going to show you how to do a complete setup with your Surface Pro. We're going to connect our Microsoft Surface Pro to a monitor, docking station, keyboard and mouse, and then finally the Ethernet cable. So now that you have everything in the box, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to want to do is set up our Surface Pro with the keyboard. So the bottom end of the Surface Pro that has the opening here connects with the keyboard strip right here. Now this is with the magnet. So basically what you do is get the keyboard very close to that area. And what it'll do is it automatically lock into place like that. And then you can open and close and this is also the cover of the Surface Pro. Now, in order to stand up the Surface Pro, it does have a flap here in the back that you simply just lift up. And once you have that lifted, you can set it into place just like that. Next thing we're going to set up is the docking station. So the docking station has two USB ports, two mini display ports, and then the Ethernet uh, port with the power. Now, the docking station consists of three parts. There's a docking station, the power brick, and then the power cord. So the power cord goes into the power brick. And then the other end of the power brick plugs into the docking station. Right there. And then the end of the docking station goes on the side of the Surface Pro. It also has a magnet, so once you get it close to the, to the opening, it should just lock into place like that. Then we're going to want to connect the other end of the power brick to our power source, minus uh, underneath the table on the wall, so I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. Now that we have the docking station connected to the Surface Pro, we can go ahead and proceed with connecting the monitor to the docking station. So for this, we'll need the mini display port to display port cable. And the small end, the mini display port, is going to go into either one of these two display mini display ports here on the docking station. So I'll go ahead and connect it here. And then the other end, the display port, is going to go underneath the monitor into the display port. And then we're going to connect the power cord to the monitor and to the wall. So this part goes underneath the monitor as well. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you really push that in there and it's a tight fit. So if, once you have it connected, if your monitor doesn't turn on, make sure that that connection is secure. Plug the other end to the wall. And now our monitor is connected to the docking station. Now there is another power adapter that you receive with the Surface Pro. This power adapter is not needed as long as you have the docking station connected to the Surface Pro. It's going to receive power and this you will not um, connect this power adapter. If you were to ever remove the docking station to use the Surface Pro uh, remotely, then you can use the power adapter. Now we can go ahead and connect the keyboard and the mouse. So with the keyboard, we'll go ahead and plug in the USB to one of the USB ports on the docking station. And then we'll go ahead and connect the mouse to the other USB port on the docking station. And 
last, we'll connect the Ethernet cable to the Ethernet port of the docking station. And then the other end goes connected to our internet router at home. So once everything is connected, you can simply just click the power button on the Surface Pro and you should be all set. I want to thank you for watching and have a great day.